Hey everyone out there in YouTube land, how are you? This is your girl, Sandra, aka Simply Love, and I'm coming in to you with a video for your mid-month reading of September uh, 2016. I'm going to be doing all the air signs, and I have my book here that I'm going to read out of, of what I dream, my dream interpretation of what I have for each sign, okay? Um, I want to just take a few minutes of your time to say thank you so much for viewing my channels. Thank you for all the beautiful, lovely comments you guys send me. You are an awesome group of people, and I want to keep my channel awesome, and that means lots of positivity, lots of love. And sometimes you know me, it's going to be some tough love because I really want you to get where you need to be in life. You know, we only have like a small window here, you know. It's time to just jump in and move and go forward. Get rid of old-fashioned ways of thinking and, and, and become new. Become the person that you were put on this earth to be, okay. That, that's, that's my motto and that's my goal. That's why I'm here um, as AKA Simply Love, your girl, okay? So, what I'm going to start out with is Aquarius, okay? Aquarius, I am going to open my book and I'm going to let you know what my dream is about you, Aquarius. So, here we go for all the airbenders. I'm going to do all the airbenders. Um, at one time because I and I'm falling a little late because of uh, my uh, readings that I've had and you know I have to be honest I was playing around a lot on Facebook and it's because I just had to release some tension when you do a lot of readings like this you have to have an outlet you know and I don't want to do anything you know bad or destructive to myself so I just you know kind of like jump on Facebook and I just start acting real silly and that, to me that's relief and it's really not it's some serious things that's been going on since this retrograde retrograde and um, you know once I put it out it, you know when I'm doing whatever happens to me but when I put it out it you know I, I just laugh at myself if you know I really take it seriously because these incidents are really true if any of you guys are on my Facebook page and see some of the stuff that's been going on um, and I know it's you know due to the retrograde I know you know it's just some things but you know when the when it happens to you at the time you just don't think like that and you're like and then you just let it I have to let it out you know what I'm saying that's my outlet and, and it comes out and it sounds to be you know funny so I have to do things like that from time to time okay I got my lovely little wish ring on okay this is gonna bring on light love and wishes to everyone who's viewing my channel all you who share my videos on um, Google Plus and and like I said and and you know visit me on my Facebook page come on over to Instagram as well all you have to do is go to my front page and click on the um, Instagram um, logo and it'll take you there because I'm going to be putting out some um, nuggets I already put some love nuggets out already and I'm going to start doing it like uh, maybe once a week um, depending on my workload like I said I've been having a heavy workload here <laughs> and the time that I do have I, I like I said I have to admit I just be starting to act silly because I have to release this tension some kind of way even I do my meditations but still you have to have some kind of outlet to where you can just be you know humorous like turn these things that happen to you into a, a humorous experience because if you really look at it it really is funny okay well Aquarius what I have for you in my uh, dream book for you Aquarius is you need to get some lilies okay if you run across some lilies they could be fake they could be you know the real deal just run across some lilies and put them at your head if you walk with your lilies where your head on top of your head virtue trends so that means you're going to go a long ways Aquarius if you you know get whether they're fake lilies whether they're real lilies and set them across your head at night before you go to sleep you're definitely going to be working, walking in your virtue, which is your true calling. Um, your spirit guides will be able to communicate with you through your the lilies that you have across your feet. But if those lilies are at your feet, misfortune is what you'll meet. Be mindful. What you think about, you bring about, Aquarius. Think, 
positive during the rest of this retrograde. Okay? And you will be fine. Okay. That's what I have in my book for Aquariuses. Now let's move on to your reading here. Now I'm going to do... I'm going to pick some dream card, a dream card out for you, okay? Um, being that these were these were told in my dreams. I'm going to do a dream card, okay? And I am just going to here are the cards here, my dream cards, and it's just going to give one little simple word here for you. Like I said, I have to make these pretty quick because I, I, I like my schedule is very hectic, so I'm going to have to try to get these done tonight. Sorry about that, but you know my monthlies will be extended, okay? So here are my dream cards, okay? And I'm just going to shuffle them. This is for Aquarius. I already did my prayers. I already spoke to the angel guides, the master of the universe. All the guiding angels. To come into your reading and to give you the messages that they need you to hear and use me as a vessel to do so. Okay, what we have for Aquarius. Let's see. Your card says, um, playing. Okay, playing. Your card says, playing Aquarius. See that? These are dream interpretation cards, so they look kind of weird looking, but I like them. I really do. I like anything that's weird. <laughs> so this to me, along with, you know, the lilies that you may want to get and put, this is for men, male and female, okay? Um, get lilies, whether they're fake or whether they're real, and put them across your head. Don't have them laying below your feet, because we already said, through my dream interpretation regarding Aquarius, um, have it across your head and you shall get lucky. You, you, you'll be your dreams, whatever you dream of and think about, make sure you do think positive and dream positive before while you're laying there with the lilies above your head, whether they're fake or whether they're real. Okay, that is my dream interpretation for you, Aquarius. And your your dream interpretation card does say playing. So, I'm picking up that a lot of you Aquarius is out there. It, um, you need to play, you, you would need to play the lottery. If you if you're not playing the lottery, I'm hearing go to go to a casino. Um, I'm hearing some of you to play cards. You know, a card game. Have a good card game. Anything that has to do with something where you play to win with some kind of winning thing. It's in the card for you from now to the retrograde to the September the 22nd. Um, you're going to be some kind of, it's, you're, it's just a luck, a lucky streak here. A lucky streak. Just make sure when you do your lily thing, make sure it's above your head when you're sleeping, okay? And make sure it stays that way because if it goes below your feet, like I said, you know, tragedy just may meet. So we don't want a tragedy. We want the positive part of it where you're going to be lucky. You have two my dream interpretation and I've written it in my book and this come up both of these cards and my dream interpretation card is matching with each other what they're saying okay and you see me shuffle the cards okay all right Aquarius now let's go here next drawer number two and see what we have for you in love this is going to be for singles those who are coupled or those who want to be coupled up as well so I'm going to pull two cards. One is going to be for the couples, which I'm going to do first, okay? So just one moment. These are for the couple of Aquariuses. Let's see what your love card says. This is for male and female, okay? Aquariuses. And if this doesn't resonate with you, whatever the cards are interpreting... You know what that means, you know. It's just not your time yet. Or it may be your sun, moon, or rising. You might want to check those out as well. But I am reading for sun, moon, and rising for each video. But you may have more details or something that connects with you if you go to your sun, moon, uh, sun or moon sign. 
moon or sun, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, for all you who are coupled up or married, okay, it's saying... Restarting a new life. You're going to be restarting a new life. Something new, something... I don't know if you can see that. Something new is about to happen. You guys have got something new on the horizon here when it comes to luck. Make sure, like I said, get your lilies. Get your lilies going here because you, you, you a lot of you Aquarius is on some kind of lucky streak with like new beginnings but with couples, maybe a better relationship. If things are, are a little rocky, things are going to change for you guys, Aquarius, male and female. Um, like I said, go out and... Um, and, and play the lottery or do some kind of gaming thing to where something you can win. Do some scratch-offs, things like that. Do it now all the way until the 19th before the retrograde is over with, okay? Use this energy for a positive. Do some, some things that you've never done before, Aquarius. Just put yourself out there and be mindful that you have to think positive as you have your lilies, whether they're fake lilies or whether they're real lilies. Keep them up at your head and everything you're going to notice a difference you're going to notice this feeling of this lucky streak around you and this is even regarding love for you who all are coupled up or married okay this is saying to you restarting a new life together some of you may be um you know think about uh, renewing your vows if you're married um, if you're go been together for a while as a couple, you may be a lot of you may be thinking about you know asking uh, your partner for their hand in marriage or a more serious commitment, a long term commitment that's going to lead to marriage. You know things are going to be looking on the up and up. It's almost like a starting. It's almost like coming full circle for a lot of you Aquariuses out there, male and female. Okay, so these messages that's being delivered to you today are very positive. Um, things are looking up and up for a lot of you. If this, like I said, doesn't resonate with you, you might want to try your Sun Moon or Rising. I am reading for Sun Moon and Rising, but there may be some more messages. Um, if you have, you know, don't have your natal chart, just you know, go online and look it up. You know, you need your birth, your your birthday the time sometimes you don't even need the time because a lot of people don't have it on their birth certificate especially if you're in my generation okay um and um the day and month and stuff that you were born and you can bring up your um natal chart and it'll tell you your um sun moon and rising signs okay so that's a very positive card for a lot of you aquariuses as well okay now we're going to do it for you singles Let's see what's coming up for you singles here. Or if you're looking, you know, if you're looking, um, maybe, and for you guys that may have just started a, or interested in somebody and you just, you know, maybe started something, you know, with somebody. And like I said, if you're looking, let's see where what the love cards has to say. We're in drawer number two, the love drawer. <laughs> Okay, I got one out for you guys. Here we go. Opening, healing, and salvation. Opening, healing, and salvation. So, for a lot of you Aquarians that are looking for someone, or you just have your eye on somebody, um... It's saying here for a lot of you guys is opening, healing, and sal um, solutions. I'm sorry. We're, no, salvation. That's right, salvation. I tell you all, I can't hear see that well. Um, so, things to me, it sounds like are looking on the up and up. You know, when it comes to if you're looking, if you're single, if you got your eye on somebody, if you're thinking about somebody, they're saying here, you know, it's an opening there. There's a, there's a, there's a door opening up for you. You know, just look at it, and observe it, and when that door opens, it's time for you to jump on it. And there's healing as well. And I believe I'm feeling like healing within yourself um, through a lot of past. Um, uh, karmic relationships that you may have been in that never did work out so there's some healing there some of you Aquarius have went through the process of healing healing yourself um, because you're very spiritual and very intuitive as well if you are an Aquarius person 
and a lot of you are very psychic as well it's like a natural type thing but there's some healing and um, salvation so you know salvation and in, um, in the healing both together means you know and the opening okay so the opening for a lot of you is like opening up your heart it's time to open up your heart and stop being so um, this is what I'm getting stop being so um, defensive or um, protective of your your heart I mean it's good to be protective of your heart but when it comes to saying spiritual where you worked on yourself already you should be confident enough to know when that door opens of love for those who are searching you single ones or have your eye on somebody it's time to walk through that door and have positive um, thoughts as you walk through positive think positive and positive comes in okay and there's salvation there. Salvation means to me winning, you know, getting, you know, what you want, getting what you need. Um, salvation could also mean salvation within yourself and working on yourself. This card reminds me of, of someone who's just, look at, look at the front. And I'll give you the il illustration of it. Sorry about that. The illustration. And for you guys, I read for the couples. Here's the illustration on that. I forgot to show you. Because, you know, pictures uh, mean a lot as well. So this is like, you know, two people um, on the same page here. And they're moving forward as well. They're moving forward together in a balance. Look at that. They're just together. They're together. And on um, this one is showing where, you know, you got you need to open up yourself to this person, whoever whoever it is. This person um, that you, some of you Aquarius may meet either may be somebody from the past and they have been wounded you see they look like a wounded soldier you're gonna to have to have some compassion you're gonna to have to have some healing for each other and you're gonna to have to open up to one another okay and for some of you it's gonna be someone new okay and they, they you know I'm not saying they have baggage or bringing baggage um, they have healed their self because of the bandages that is on their head and things like that but they are gonna need a partner or someone that understands what they've been through and kind of have some empathy for this person you may be a little, a little better off than they are but you but there's love there there's opportunity there because this person has healed they've been through hell and back but they have healed themselves for some of you Aquarius is out there that may that's looking or see somebody that you want this is the probably the type of person that's going you're going to run into somebody like almost like a wounded soldier but they have healed their self and you have to be open up for this opportunity you have to be prepared so you need to be healed you need to open up and you need to have salvation as well as this person does and help and then you come together and um make it work for one another but there's definitely some healing some opening up and some salvation after all of that comes uh, together as one okay if you're looking if you meet just meeting someone and you're curious or if you're just um, waiting you know what I'm saying just waiting on the one it is coming okay it's coming but you're you're gonna have some you're gonna have some healing and helping this person you have to help this person to um come back um and some understanding and some compassion i, I can't oh this one just popped up i'm doing your romantic cards okay and okay for the for the couple ones that are get together your romantic card says to trust you know maybe some of you um has some trust issues maybe some of you Aquariuses that are in relationships, long-term relationships, um, been together for a while. Some of you Aquariuses that are married, the trust. This situation is calling for you to have uh, faith. So have faith and trust in this relationship, okay? Because there's an angel right here, right over here. Anytime angels show up, show up in a reading and in a love reading, um, they're trying to tell you that they're they're with you. You know, they're by, they're backing you up. So, you know, listen to your angel guides and trust and have faith in your relation, your existing relationship or your 
uh, marriage. Have trust in that. It's not going nowhere. It's going to do nothing but get better. You can always rewind and listen to the dream book that I have written, what I've written down for you in my dream book, okay? All right, Aquarius. Now let's pull one for the um, single Aquariuses or the ones that are looking, okay? Let's see what they have for you. Sorry, these cards are all over the place. Okay, see what they have. Your romance cards have to say to you. Ones are single, the ones you got your eye on somebody, and the ones that are, you know, patiently waiting and see what's going to go on for you. And I'm done shuffling, and your card is let your friends help you. Whoa, let your friends help you, Aquarius, for those who are looking male or female those who have their eyes on someone um that you may be interested in and you and you're maybe a little hesitant um let your friends help you ask some advice from a, a true friend you know not nobody that's you know not in a relationship or think negative and will say negative speak to your angel guides and your true friends that's going to give you some healthy advice on this ask for and um, accept support from others ask for and accept support from others you guys that's out there looking or have somebody um, get uh, uh, you ha might have somebody you single that might you might have somebody in mind or you might have your eye on someone that this is for you guys they're telling your angel guys are saying you know ask your friends those one that you trust, the ones that you know, has a good head on their shoulder and has their best interest at, at heart, has your best interest at heart. Uh, you look at their life and they're very stable. Then you can take some advice from them. Ask them for some help. Ask them what they think. You know, if you have somebody in mind, you know, kind of if they know them. Some of you might meet someone um, from a... Uh, from someone that you are friends with you might have some kind of outing wedding some kind of um something that you may be invited to and you may meet your your person you singles out there you may meet this person from a friend of yours so that means that a lot of the times too so get ready aquarius something's coming up for you guys okay all right so thank you so much aquarius and you know good luck to you and i also have a surprise at the end for each sign so you know be prepared for that as well okay all right so now i'm going to look in my dream book for um aquarius let's see what my dream book has to say about you gemini sorry about that gemini Okay, Gemini. Gemini, male or female, this is for you. Okay. Now, um, what I've written down and what I had dreams about for you is a fox. Like, a fox is always in flight, right? All foxes that I know of are always on the move. They're always on the flight. If you want to find a friend or a slash relationship or slash re marriage you must avoid betrayal avoid the game of pretend okay Gemini when I when I've written this down from the dream that I had for you Gemini's it, it, it's just as well as what I written down here D there, don't betray yourself it Basically, don't betray yourself when you feel like there's someone in your life that you're interested in or if you're um, in a relationship with someone or someone that you're looking for because this is, goes around in, in all areas. Don't be afraid, okay? Don't blow it for yourself for uh, one thing and 
um, because that's just self betrayal. That's betraying yourself when you you know kind of like getting in your own way of something that is possible that can be good for you. Okay, and avoid the game of pretend. Don't act pretend like you don't care if there's someone that you care about and you two click. Don't act like please don't play that pretend game because all it's going to do is backfire on you, Gemini. Okay, that's what I mean when I said that. So, and this reminds me of a of a. Of, I see a vision of a fox. You know, a fox has come to mind when I had my vision of you in my dream book here that I had to write in my dream book regarding a lot of you Aquariuses. Don't play the fool, okay? You know what I'm saying? Don't play games with yourself. You can't play games with others. Don't play it with yourself because, you know, like I said, the foxes are always in flight now. If you want to find a friend, relationship, marriage, part, long-term relationship, you must avoid self-betrayal. And you must avoid the game of pretend. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius, is in my dream book that I've written for you. So now let's get into the cards, okay? Okay, now we're going to get into the dream interpretation cards. Here they are here. Okay, and I'm just going to shuffle these up. And this is going to be for the sign of you, Gemini's, male and female. Okay, and we'll see what if this matches what I said from my dreams, okay? Okay, here's one sticking out here. And forgive me as I'm a little hard because um, even with glasses and things like that, I still have a hard time seeing. Let me see if this light will do better. That's a lot of light in it. <laughs> okay, um, Gemini, the card I picked for you is... Let's see what this is saying here. Honors. Yeah, honors. It's honors. It's like that you're going to meet someone. There's, there, you know, a lot of you Aquariuses out there are going to, I'm sorry, Geminis. A lot of you Geminis are going to meet someone or you're going to be um, introduced to somebody. For those who already have met somebody, it, this is working for you. This person is working for you, whoever you did meet. Um, uh, and it's also telling me a lot of you Geminis, this could be a general type thing as well. So I'm doing general and love as well. So it, I'm looking at this as being general for a lot of you uh, Geminis out there, male or female. Some of you may be in um, getting some type of um, uh, honors or some kind of recognition for something that you have done or something you have said. It may fall into the newspaper. It may be on somebody's blog somebody's noticing you and your work and they they're giving you some type of props for your work that you do um or for something that you did or something that you said that made a big difference in um a lot of people's lives there may be a lot of attention on you and you don't know it you might you might there might be you might get an email or you met don't um gemini look if you get this certain type of email don't avoid it don't think that it's a prank or anything because it's somebody that's that's trying to they want to honor you some of you may get a phone call from someone wanting to do a small type interview with you via youtube youtube um via it, skype it just it could be anything or you know anything it could be a television you just never know but i'm feeling here there's some some honors that's going to be do given to a lot of you gemini's and this is for some kind of accomplishment achievement something that you've done to brought to bring attention for some of you is going to be worldwide for some of you it's going to be like a local type situation somebody wants to give you their prop give you your props okay you're going to be honored and there's going to be other people there to help celebrate for you some of you i feel like you're going to meet someone at this honorship as well if you haven't already during this retrograde period okay so be on your p's and q's as it said through my dream journal here be on your P's and Q's, Gemini. Be ready. 
get yourself ready don't self sabotage yourself okay don't blow it for yourself this is it this is a new beginning for you Gemini a lot of you Gemini's out there male and females okay so congratulations to you ahead of time for your honors I wish you all the best with this all right let's move on now I'm going to pull two love cards, okay? One is going to be for the singles. And I'm going to do the couples first, and then I'm going to pull one for the singles, okay? Gemini's out there. All right. Wait while I shuffle them. It's a bunch of them, okay? Y'all know I use these sometimes. They're very good. They're very accurate as well. Okay, so I'm shuffling them up to see what I get for the partners marriages long-term relationships what's going on what's happening i'm gonna show you the visual first hmm okay caring and kindness there need to be some caring and kindness with you couples if you're coupled up if you're married let's get some caring and kindness this look like here you go i'll show you exactly what it says caring and kindness Okay, caring and kindness. Be caring. Be kind. Don't go acting wacko, Gemini. Don't do that. There is need to be some tightening up here. Be care. Caring and, and have some kindness in this situation. There's somebody who really, really is interested in you. Um, your partner, your long-time partner, you need to, you know, lighten up a little bit and let loose a little bit and show a little care and show a little kindness. Don't be a spoiled brat. That's what I'm picking up with this picture. Spoiled brat. Maybe this person spoiled you, you know, and you got to show a little care and kindness. It's like somebody's seeking your attention. Maybe you're not giving them enough attention, you know, but they're trying to show you attention. This is for you married and you couples that's been together for a while. Some of you um, that are coupled up and been together for a while, somebody's probably trying to offer you a um, hand in marriage. And they're showing, you know, it's time to show your caring and kindness part to this person. This is going to, going to be, the, be it. Either you are or either you aren't. Gemini, make up your mind here. Show a little caring, show a little kindness if you want this person, okay? Because they're strongly, strongly coming after you. This is for you couples and you married. And, and those who are married, you might want to, you know, you might have been together for a while and maybe you've, you know, slacked up on some things with, you know, um, showing your uh, appreciation for your partner. This is male or female. If it doesn't resonate with you, you know, don't take it to heart. You know what I'm saying? Um... Some of you may have just, you know, like I said, been together for so long that you kind of like um, last a little bit. It's time to push it up a little bit, you know, uh, show a little care, show a little kindness, um, do something for them, surprise them, something of that nature to show that you, you still appreciate this person. OK, it's all up to you, Gemini. Now for you singles, let's see. Those who are looking, those who see somebody that they might have their eyes on, somebody, those who are waiting, let's see what they're going to have to say to you. Shuffle them up really good. Okay, I got one here for you. This is for you who are looking, those who may have your eye on someone, or those who may have just started a relationship, just like in the baby stages, it's just like trickling on, you know, just, y'all just like a little, you know, just starting to see each other or something like that, but nothing major is going on yet. It's saying, seeing the full half of the glass. <laughs> seeing the full half of the glass. Okay, now, when I'm seeing this card for you, um, Gemini, I'm picking up, if there's things that you're looking at, say, when you're looking at, you know, when you're first evaluating a relationship, I'm hearing that you might want to 
you know, take it slow and take it easy and look at everything. Don't um don't judge a book by its cover, I'm hearing. Take your time. Um set boundaries. This is for male and female. Those who are looking Remember, this is what you need to do. Somebody you got on your mind or somebody you got in mind or somebody you just met them and, and things are just starting. You need to um, you need to do this. You need this. You're seeing the full half, seeing the full half of the glass. OK, so that means seeing everything. You know what I mean? Opening up, um, setting your boundaries make sure you have boundaries set before anything pops off to see if this person this is male or female if they're going to abide by those um you know if they're going to it's like a test almost you have to test it you have to test the waters you have to you have to let it you have to um um do some type of uh, uh dating and you know and test them to see if they're going to uh, not I'm, I'm not saying trying to, to be rough or mean or harsh to anybody. I'm saying, what I'm saying is, you need to test the waters to see if this is waters that you want to jump into. So, you know yourself better than anybody else, okay? You know, you have your guidelines, you know what you want, you know what you don't want. At least you should by now if you're a grown adult, okay? And you know what you went through in the past. So, it's time to set boundaries, it's time to see if those boundaries are going to be met after you set them. See the full glass before you dive in any type of relationship when it first starts off, okay? That's what I'm getting from this card for you who are single and looking or just got your eye on someone or um, you've gotten to or you're getting to know somebody. Make sure you see the whole thing before anything gets started before anything pops off save yourself some aggravation if it's not i mean like if you're setting boundaries here um and and setting boundaries is nothing but loving yourself it's showing a sign that you love yourself that person is going to respect you even more because you have boundaries here uh that you, you that you want to abide by that you want you and then see if they're going to abide by those boundaries if they do hey Give them a chance. Move a little further, but, you know, still keep your eyes open. You know, don't come to no conclusion. Save yourself some aggravation. If they don't abide by these boundaries that you do set, it, you know, keep it moving. Keep it moving. There's a gazillion men and women in this world. You don't have to be stuck on one. All right, now, for the ending, uh, Gemini, let's see. We're going to read your... We're going to do, do your romance cards, okay? For you Gemini's male and female. Let's see what comes out here. Like I said, this is not going to be a long video because I do have readings to do. <laughs> and I'm just... I'm doing this late to try to, um, and staying up late trying to get, I'm going to get all these done tonight for you guys. And, um, I will extend the monthly readings for you. And this is just a little something, something that just came to mind and, um, something a little different. And I hope you will enjoy it. Okay, Gemini, what I got for you for your angel romance card is this. Express your love. Did we just get this for somebody? You air signs need to express your love, honey. <laughs> Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So, your angel saying it's cool. Make your romantic gesture for some of you Geminis out there that has a partner, partnering up with someone, thinking about partnering up with someone if you're single. Make that romantic gesture. Express your love. Let it go, honey, and let it loose. Show them that you care. If they showing you that they care about you, you know, you do the same. Don't be afraid. 
go ahead and make that romantic gesture. That's what your that's what your angel God said. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Don't be don't be playing around like I told you earlier. Don't play with this. Don't play with this love, especially for you ones who uh, in a relationship and have somebody and you had them for a while or a marriage. Don't be playing around. And you ones that are you know just now connecting, just coming out of the single life or wanting to end and. Uh, enter into a relationship and you're single and you got your eye on somebody um, those who are looking and um, and uh, letting your friends help you you might some of y'all like I said might meet someone from a friend do this okay make the romantic gesture you know express your love express how you feel doesn't even have to be you know in the beginning for you ones in the beginning that has to be um, like exp express the love that you feel for yourself you know what i'm saying like express that part to somebody let somebody know how much you do care about yourself and um and maybe talk about some things that you know um got you the the way that you are far as expressing yourself and you feel like you know look i want to let you know this is how i feel Special for, especially for you ones who are coupled up and married. Let that person know how you feel. Okay? Express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. For y'all looking, got your eye on somebody, go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Okay? Those who are thinking and wanting to seek some a relationship, when somebody comes in there, go ahead and make that romantic gesture if you're interested. Okay? Don't be playing around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's going to do it for all you air signs. I hope you enjoyed that. I know it was very short. Um, like I said, I'm I, I'm tied up with readings. I'm trying to get all these out tonight because the rest of my week, uh, the month, the schedule, my, my um, reading schedule is very, very full. So I'm getting this in here now. And, and I just didn't think I was going to be able to do it. But I just took this one day for you guys to get the, the mid-month out and do something a little. Um, this is a little, um, I can say a little. Um, off the chain like just out of the blue you know I've been thinking all you know a lot in, in this dream thing so I've just been writing things out and this is what they're telling me you know to do to bring in what I've been dreaming about as far as the signs are concerned okay so this is the special i want each and every one of you to get a pen and piece of paper i should have maybe mentioned that earlier in the beginning so you'll have your pen and paper ready okay but you can always you know zoom back on the video and see okay this is it i'm going to give i'm going to draw two people from the comment section that answers this question okay you have to answer this question and I want you to put it in the comment section. And when um, and when I draw two people, I'm going to give you, if you answer the question correctly, I'm going to give you um, two people. I'm going to pick two, two people that answer the question cor correctly and um, give them a free 30-minute reading. And this is for the air signs only. I'm going to have something different for each sign. So, A, hey, come on now. Everybody, you know, want the same thing, right? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do something different for each uh, uh, the air, um, the fire, the water, and the pentacles. Okay, the earth. Okay, so what the question is for you guys is this. Okay, there's ten fish and they're all in a tank. Okay, ten fish in a tank. Two drowned. Two of those fish drowned, okay? Four of them swam away. And three of them died. And the question I want you to answer, and if you answer correctly, like I said, I'm going to pick two people that answered correctly, okay? And maybe all of you will answer correctly, but I'm going to just pick two of you. Um, and I'm... I want you to know, I want you to tell me how many are left. Okay, 10 fish are in a tank. Two drowned, four swam away, and three died. How many are left? Put that down in the comment section. You have to be subscribed in order to 
actually win okay so make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and you want a, a free 30 minute reading i want to pick two people out of that comment section um and you have to be subscribed and you have to answer the question correctly okay and that's what i'm going to be doing for you airbenders aquarius gemini and libra so all of you guys please participate and as you're uh giving me your answer i just want a short question of what you want answered very very short i don't want a paragraph i don't want to uh, paragraph i just want a short question just a short question a one sentence if you go beyond one sentence with a question i don't need to know the history i don't need you to get into the whole nine yard just for this just for this mid-month please just do one question each of you that come in you must be subscribed for me in order to, for me to pick you and you have to have the correct answer to the question okay and I'm gonna pick two people out I will make that announcement to you and then once we once I make that announcement for the two that have won um, well that'll be in another video okay so I really appreciate you guys that's showing my appreciation um, if you'd like to join into this contest you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not and then go ahead and answer the question okay and I will put the question down in the description so you know you don't forget you always can rewind this video or you know I'll just write it in the description okay and um, and and just go ahead and answer the question and I will be getting back in touch with you for the winners I just want to know, uh, let you all know, I do appreci appreciate each and every one of you. I thank you for uh, taking the time to come watch my videos. I thank you all who subscribe to my channel. It's growing and growing. And like I said, I want to take time out to do some things for you guys. Okay, I really do. And um, it's just taking a little time because of, uh, you know, I have to think about whatever and be patient enough to bring these things to you the way the Most High God wants me to do this. Okay, so I really appreciate each and every one of you hey to you guys that um uh come over to my facebook page and listen to the crazy stuff that i'll be saying <clears throat> going over to instagram and you know and, and um 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 and twitter as well my videos are uploaded on twitter they're uploaded on facebook they are uploaded on google plus join me on all those sites if you will uh, my instagram page i am going to be doing love nuggets every week so you can go over there to instagram uh, which is on my front page of youtube and all you have to do is hit the icon and just um you know invite yourself and i will pull you in and you'll be able to get your love nugget that i have that i'll be recording um uh, once a week okay i really appreciate you guys and you all take care i love you so so much remember Remember, love is all there is and love is all there ever be. Bye-bye. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>